Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to this week's video. So today I'm doing a collection of studies. I've been really feeling the need to just be constantly improving my art, and so that's what we're doing today. So you're gonna see several different pages, and starting out, I'm doing a few pose practices, just some quick gesture studies from Line of Action. This pose right here is actually my favorite, and just trying to get used to breaking down the body. And then I'm going to move on to some other studies where I do form, shape, just trying to notice things about about the world. I'm doing a little case study on orange and then I'll be moving on to this eye and I just wanted to present to you all sort of my growth as an artist and how I'm gonna probably do more of these studies in the future and I just want to you know feel out the vibes and improve because that's all what being creative is about is constantly learning and improving. Also for this eye I think a good note to take away is figuring out how to draw eyelashes. Um, I know that sometimes they look a little wonky, so yeah. I'm really happy with these next two, which are hands. Um, I think they look kind of similar to my reference. And it, overall, it was pretty great. Um, if you're wondering, all the references that I used were just off of Google. I was drawing this on my iPad with Procreate. And as I was doing this, I was just, you know, taking notes, thinking about things, noticing how small details can impact an overall form. In this one, I was mostly focusing on replicating an image, and then I think in the future, I will move on to something like um, shapes more so, like how actual forms are made instead of just like sketching. Here I am doing a bunch of avocados just because I wanted to see how close I could get. The second one is most accurate because of the angle. The avocado was slightly tilted to the right, but the first one is most accurate in terms of like the sizing. And then I just drew a cube for fun because what is an art page without a cube? Everyone draws cubes at least once in their life. Um, and then here I am doing the coloring studies. The color studies for these apples were my absolute favorite. Um, and I did this without color picking, so no color picking. I did this straight from the color slider in Procreate, which is the software I'm using. And I just wanted to see how close I could get to the colors of my reference without directly deriving the colors from my reference. So these are just the comparisons. This one actually ended up being my favorite, even though it's too dark, I needed to push the highlights a bit more. And then this one turned out kind of similar, needed to be brighter. I found something in my art that is, I tend to lean on the darker to mid-tone side and then the more saturated side. So all of my colors tend to be cooler, they tend to be darker. And I don't know, I just thought that was really interesting by doing this study. I did a few white fabric studies just to notice like limited colors. This is the closest color study I get, and I actually really liked it. I think working on form will help me a bit more with the fabric studies, but overall I think it was really good. Um, this like blue fabric, it's supposed to be white, but of uh, the lighting, it turns more blue. Um, I need to get forms better, but overall the color section was, was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. Um, and then here I am doing the flowers, which were my second favorite thing to do besides the apples and like the fruit studies. I don't draw flowers super often in my art, and if I am gonna draw a flower, it's usually some variant of a rose, although I tend to stylize roses a lot. But these turned out so well. They remind me of my pencil sketches and my sketchbook, and it just felt really nice to do. I really liked it. So that was supposed to be a red rose that you just saw. And then over here, this is a chrysanthemum, which is actually my favorite flower, like, ever. I think they're beautiful and intricate. And honestly, I'd love to do a piece with chrysanthemums. Sorry, it's a big long word. <laughs> and I don't know, these just turned out really well. I may do more flower studies. Out of all the studies I did over the course of three days, um, I think the flowers and the color studies were the most fun, and I also think I learned the most from them. I do gesture studies all the time, so it's not necessarily I didn't learn anything less than doing those in the beginning, it's just that it's sort of repetitive, so I know how it kind of feels. Then the last flower I just drew was a tulip, which turned out really well, I like the shading on it. These are supposed to be hydrangeas, or hydrangeas, I'm not really sure the correct pronunciation, but out of all the flowers on this page, I think they are my least favorite. They're really great. I just, you know, not my cup of tea. Uh, I'll, I will probably do a piece with hydrangeas eventually. So my favorite flowers on here is the chrysanthemum. And I really want to do an art piece with a bunch of yellow ones. The one I specifically drew was a purple chrysanthemum, just because that's what Google popped up and what I felt like drawing. But yeah. And then moving on, I did a sunflower because I feel like out of all the flowers, when I think flowers, the ones that pop into my head are roses. 
and sunflowers like if i think flower those are like your basic baseline flower and i feel like a lot of artists feel that way too if you're gonna lean towards a flower they usually go to those two especially roses if you're doing a more like emotional sort of piece i don't know and then sunflowers are really happy so i don't know i really enjoyed drawing the sunflower i think the leaves turned out really well like surprisingly well and then here i am doing sort of a simple flower although it took a really long time these are baby's breaths and it's just like there's a lot of detail to them even though i did simplify them a, a, a lot and i didn't end up coloring them either so that did um shorten the process slightly but yeah and then uh, on to the next section, I'll just talk about it quickly. I did a face study. Um, I was kind of tired of doing studies at this point because, you know, I had been doing them for about three days now. So the very last face is my favorite. But yeah, I just wanted to do some quick emotion practice. I'll probably do a better session some other time in the future. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my progress as an artist and just all the studies I did. So I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.